Hey guys, it's Chris. So I know we typically do Star Wars and Game of Thrones videos in regards to the movies, TV shows, etc. But today I want to talk about a game. Now this is not a typical gaming channel, but for you gamers out there, Star Wars Battlefront's coming and it looks like it's going to be a bad motherfucker. So I used to be a big time gamer, I'm not so much anymore just because, you know, life happens. But I finally pre-ordered Battlefront, which is coming out November 17th in North America, November 19th and 20th in Europe and Australia. So I'm really looking forward to this. It looks like it's going to be a badass game. This is not a sequel to the original Battlefront. This is considered a reboot. I've been pretty excited about it for a while, just hadn't talked about it on this channel. But Star Wars is coming up with The Force Awakens coming out, and I want to talk and give you nerds that may be at least interested in Star Wars games a little overview of Battlefront and some gameplay footage. Maybe we can perhaps jump in game together. This is going to be a multiplayer game, as well as have, I believe, a single mode or a co-op mode. Not necessarily a campaign mode, for what I understand, but more or less just single mission mode. So anyway, this is a first person shooter game. So if you like the Call of Duty type games, uh, Modern Warfare, Black Ops, that type of thing, this would be right up your alley except in the Star Wars universe. Also has a third person mode and I believe you can switch in between. So you're going to get to play on planets such as Hoth, Endor, Tatooine, and Solist, I believe, and get to fight either as an Imperial or a Rebel and control the various vehicles such as AT-ATs, AT speeder bikes, snow speeders, etc etc and also play in again first person shooter mode or third person shooter mode as far as ground battles from my understanding all the characters weapons gear etc is all customizable and as you unlock new weapons i believe you'll be able to share them with teammates again this will be a multiplayer online game and again you can choose in this game to be either a rebel soldier or a stormtrooper and there are some other playable characters bigger names such as darth vader luke skywalker as well as Boba Fett. The screen footage of Boba Fett was pretty damn exciting. And I believe there's also some non-playable characters in the game, such as R2 and 3PO, since they are an integral part of the story at this point. So as far as the multiplayer goes, I believe that the multiplayer mode is similar to Call of Duty in the sense that you have certain maps, and I believe you have up to 40 players, 20 per team, in these big epic map battles. And to my understanding, I believe there's gonna be 12 maps available at launch. So as far as the development, this is an Electronic Arts EA. They, they obtained, I believe, back in 2013, exclusive rights to all Star Wars games. And their subsidiaries, DICE and Bioware, typically do these games, and DICE is doing this game. DICE first acknowledged the game was coming out in 2013. There seemed to be a lot of problems with it, potentially not being published, but they decided to go forward as a reboot versus a sequel to the previous older PS2 error Battlefront games. This has been developed on the Frostbite 3 engine. For you non-gamers, it's just a software that allows these big, you know, big giant, you know, interactive environments. It allows these kind of uh, big environments where everything's interactive, where you can blow shit up, whether you're whether it's another player or not. Graphics are totally badass on this game. I'm showing here the PS4 gameplay. And of course with the marketing, they're trying to release it in November, you know, right before Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. So they're trying to time that with that, trying to get people pumped up about the movie as if they need any more help with that. And the cool thing about Battlefront, it will have downloadable content. And from my understanding, the first downloadable content that will come out in December, since the game is being released in November, will be the Battle of Jakku. Jakku is the junk world that we see the characters Rey and Finn on that we all had kind of mistakenly called Tatooine in the very early on trailers and teasers of Star Wars Episode Seven. So Jakku is essentially this big ship graveyard that's kind of become a settlement similar to Mos Eisley a short time after Return of the Jedi. So the first downloadable content, and this will give you a little bit of context for Episode Seven when we see Jakku and we see where the Star Destroyer is down and this, a few of the characters in Episode 7 are in the beginning of the movie. So it's kind of going to be cool how Battlefront, even though it's set in the old days, 30 years ago, will kind of tie in, help tie in Episode 7, The Force Awakens. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe the first downloadable content, again, the Battle of Jakku, will be coming out December the 8th. And if you pre-ordered it, so I highly advise you to pre-order 
Not only do you get the in-game weapons, I think it's five extra in-game items for the deluxe edition versus the standard edition. You also get to uh, access the downloadable content, I think a week earlier than people who did not pre-order it. So again, just wanted to throw this kind of overview of Battlefront coming out for you guys who may be interested. Whether you play games or not, you know, this is going to be a badass game. And personally, I used to be a big time gamer. I played Star Wars The Old Republic uh, and still have an account there and play every once in a while. I originally played Star Wars Galaxies back in 2003, I believe, which was the first Star Wars MMO that came out and I thought was fucking wonderful until Sony screwed that up and tried to remake it by turning it into WoW. I did play WoW for a while as well. This is the first time I've been really excited about a game again. You know, I hadn't played games in quite a while. I do have a console and I do play the Call of Duty games and stuff like that, but not nearly what I used to. Really excited about Battlefront, and if I can get immersed in some kind of Star Wars world in a game with the footage I've seen so far, this looks like it's going to be badass. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Working on another Star Wars video for the actual Episode 7 movie as well, so in the meantime, you can click here on Kit Harrington being seen filming in Belfast, the big battle scene in the north for you, for you got nerds, and also click here for the last Game of Thrones Q&A I did, where I talk about some fan theories and respond to a few questions there. So check those out guys. I appreciate all the support. Let me know what you think in the comments below as far as the game and what you think about it. Are you planning on getting it? Have you pre-ordered it already? I'm sure most of you have. I was a little bit late actually. And maybe we can think about jumping in together on some of these multiplayer boards and having some fun there. So be sure to subscribe to get everything. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Rebels cannot be allowed to intercept this transport. Insurance extraction. Affirmative. I'm going in.